What's going on you guys? Today we're looking at the 2023 Maserati Gran Turismo Modena and this is one of the coolest cars we've ever been able to review on the channel. You're going to see why. Before we get into it, big thank you to Stateline Alfa Romeo Maserati for giving us this Gran Turismo to review. This one's for sale, so check out the link in the description. Let's get to it. Now in the new Gran Turismos, you're not going to have the Ferrari V8 anymore. Instead, you get a twin turbo V6, but just wait till you see how this thing performs. It is phenomenal. Now before we go for a drive and take a look at the interior, let's look at how this looks on the outside. And I am a big fan of how the new redesign looks for the Gran Turismos. They took away that sort of weird fish-like look in the front end. So right on the front end, you're going to have a large open grille with a huge Maserati logo. Uh, almost all Maseratis have that, and they just give that nice status to you. So I like that a lot. You're also going to have another Maserati logo right on the end of the hood here. So as for your tire wheels in the front, you're going to get 265s, and your wheels are going to be 20 inches. Very, very luxury-looking wheel design as well. This is a nice mix between a luxury and a sports car, but it's really more for the sportiness. You're also going to have huge six piston brakes up here and I love, love, love the yellow on them. Any car with bright calipers, I just think gives it a really nice sporty look. And on the side here, this is going to be another giveaway that you're looking at a Maserati. Almost all Maseratis have these sort of tri vents right on the side. Also, you're going to have Modena right above your vents because, well, this is a special Gran Turismo. And moving along to the uh, back end side here, well, this is a two-door car, but you do get back seats. We'll check that out in a second. As for your tires back here, these are going to be 295 in width. You're you're also going to have 21 inch wheels up here as compared to the 20 in the front and again the very very beautiful wheel design with the Maserati logo in the center cap. Also Maserati logo right on the side here as well. Maseratis are known to put a lot of logos on their cars, but this one definitely deserves it. I, this is just a very very special car. Back end here you're going to have a Gran Turismo badge, a Maserati badge, and a absolutely menacing quad tip exhaust. This is an active exhaust and it sounds phenomenal. Take a listen. Now let's go ahead and check out this interior and there's actually no door handles. Instead you reach up and there's a little button you press and that allows you to open the door. So absolutely beautiful and luxurious door panel design here. I love this sort of curvy, curvy, wavy design with the carbon fiber and an absolutely phenomenal sound system in here as well. Uh, I usually don't like designs of door panels, but this one, I don't know, it, it is very, very nice. The weird, weird thing about this car is they put a lot of the money in different places in a lot of other cars. Performance is good. Design is just insane. Not so much on the exterior, but the interior is where it's at. Now, right on the door sill here, you're going to have Maserati spelled out, and these seats are probably the most comfortable seats I have ever sat in. They're so soft. They grab you so well. They're nice and big and bulky. You can also adjust these sides here and you're going to have a Maserati logo right on your headrest. Now let's go ahead and hop in this thing where you will find the outline of your car inside of the gauge cluster. And let's go ahead and start this thing up. So just like Alfa Romeo's, you're going to have the start stop button on the steering wheel, which I, I'm really starting to like that. I think it's better than having it over here. Just, I don't know, you have all your controls that you need right here, which I, I just think it's, it's very unique and cool. Maserati logo right in the center here. A lot of black accents going around here. Very, very nice steering wheel design. The only configurations for this thing are simply uh, Comfort, GT, and then Sport. Comfort and GT are going to have the exact same gauge cluster design. Now, one of my favorite things with all Alfa Romeos and Maseratis are these absolutely massive paddle shifters. They're just so satisfying to press. You could make a paddle shifter that goes from the roof to the ground, and I think I would still like it. The bigger the paddle shifters, the better for some odd reason. Now, this center console here, you get a good amount of car carbon fiber, kind of a small center console, though. Um, you are able to reveal this right here for just a tad bit of storage space. You're going to have your wireless charger right in there, which is very nice. But this infotainment system is the elephant in the room. Very, very unique and cool. You're going to have your entire climate controls down here with your heated and ventilated seats on this little screen. And before we talk about the top screen, you may have noticed there is no gear level gear lever here. Instead, there are buttons that you press park, reverse, neutral, drive or manual very, very weird. I have never seen that before. But again, I, because this is a Maserati, because it's a Gran Turismo, because it is borderline an exotic car, I'm not really going to complain much about that because it just gives it that nice, special, unique touch that makes you feel like you're in something, again, very unique. So 
Inside of this top screen here, lots and lots of cool stuff to go through. First of all, if we go to a drive mode explorer, well, nothing too crazy here. You can just press the drive modes you want to go through. But what is cool is you actually get like a distribution graph that shows you where things are configured. So you have responsiveness for your throttle. You have a uh, stiffness, acceleration, electronic controls, and efficiency. I, very, very cool with that little graph thing there. Now, if we hop over to performance here, you're able to see your turbo pressure, your live torque, and your oil pressure. And if you click on torque management, you can actually see the distribution of torque from all four wheels. This thing does have all wheel drive, and that is just very, very cool. I have not seen that in a car that I've reviewed thus far. And if you jump over to drag race mode, you're actually able to time yourself on your zero to 60, zero to 100 quarter mile, all that good stuff. Now on this dash here, you're gonna have this very cool digital clock. They did away with the analog ones, and instead this one's digital, but I think this one does look a lot more luxurious that is a nice trim around literally everything in this car as well you're gonna have your air vents integrated into the dash and the passenger side you're gonna have a nice little italian touch right here with an air vent again very cool wavy design to match what's on the door panel there that is very awesome and you're gonna have gran turismo right on the side of the passenger dash now to get out of this thing no door handle again it's just a button that you press. Now, as we take a seat back here, this seat is all the way up, but if it is far back, there is not a whole lot of room back here, which is fine. This is gonna be used more for practicality or just small people, or as Forrest Auto Reviews would say, legless passengers. You're gonna have more carbon fiber in the back seats, which is very, very surprising to see. How, do you, how would you not love carbon fiber? I just love to see this everywhere. You're gonna have two kind of small cup holders, could be bigger. Uh, USB port as well back here. You're gonna have more air vents. I like how these are kind of like in your face. They're very, very close to you. And you have your little adjustment for the air vents as well. And if you pull this little back part down here, you're gonna have access to your trunk. And that's kind of it back here, which is fine. More of the very luxurious sound system. All in all, I gotta say, the presentation in here is one of the best that I've seen thus far. And since we're dealing with a car that's almost 200K, you definitely want to see a nice presentation. But this one definitely exceeds my expectations with that. We've, dri we've driven quite a few luxury vehicles. This one really does a good job at that. All right, you guys, here we are driving the 2023 Maserati Gran Turismo Modena. And we are starting off in comfort mode. And right away, I was not expecting this. Yes, we did it when we were doing a walk around on the exterior. We mentioned that this is still a luxury car. It just has a lot of sporty touches to it. But driving this in comfort is extremely nice. Very soft suspension, very subtle gear changes. But of course, we are in the Gran Turismo and we're going to go ahead and switch over to uh, you have GT mode, which is Grand Touring, and you can go over to Sport. That's going to change the display on the gauge cluster, open up the exhaust valves, and make it really a different beast. I really like how you have the drive mode selector right on the steering wheel as well and again just like the Alfa Romeo you're gonna have huge huge paddle shifters that are set in place so as you turn the steering wheel uh, they're not going to change locations let's go ahead and do a little acceleration here and see how this thing feels very very aggressive gear shifts there wow it gives you a nice punch back right into your seat and uh yep twin turbo v6 i'm telling you the ones in maseratis and, and alfa romeos they seriously do the job in these cars with the performance the acceleration and the sound that they give you even with the windows up it sounds extremely extremely good now even in the sportiest setting here it's still a very luxury cruise you don't feel very many bumps which again, you know, you're, you're not buying some track weapon here. You're buying the ultimate grand touring car. You have this absolutely beautiful, luxurious interior presentation all around you. The clock, the dual screen setup, the carbon fiber, the leather, the, the sort of waviness design across the dash and on your door panel. Um, it just, I don't know, sitting in here feels like you're pretty much in a mansion on wheels that can also go extremely, extremely fast. <laughs> shifts are also going to happen pretty quick uh not as nearly as quick as a dual clutch but definitely good enough and just the sound that it makes when you downshift you absolutely gotta love that but what beats that is being on throttle and upshifting and hearing that loud pop that it gives you all right let's go and get on it a little bit again here that is absolutely awesome the zero to 60 in this one is 3.5 seconds 
And I just love how dramatic it feels when you floor it. There's a lot going on. The sound, you're just waiting for that shift to punch you back in your seat. And it really is rocketing forward all at the same time. So I, I am loving this so far. Also, uh, the suspension, of course, is adjustable. And like I said, even in sport, it's still a pretty luxurious ride. It's not annoying or too much to go over some rough terrain. And I did not mention yet that this has an adjustable ride height. So right in here, you'll see this little button that allows you to actually raise and lower the front end. When this thing is lowered, you have very, very little ground clearance. So uh, when you're going over any bumps, you definitely want this thing to be up. And with no gear shifter here, we're gonna be pressing the reverse button right in the center console here. and back over to two drive. Now this thing does have uh, two turbos along with that V6 and it really doesn't have that long like boost lag. This thing will pick up power quick, nice and easy. You could almost mistaken this for being naturally aspirated if uh, you've driven some, some of those cars that really have to build up the boost to get going. Let's go and get on it. Listen to that noise. And with this thing having all wheel drive, you can floor it at low speeds and you're gonna get grip every time. Uh, tire whiffs in the back are near 300. So um, even if this thing was rear wheel drive, you'd probably be able to grip. Again, I think all wheel drive is a more fitting setup for the Gran Turismo because this isn't really a car you'd want to take out and go drifting. This is more of one where you just want to get to your location nice, easy, quick, and comfortable. And that's exactly what this gives you. Now you can step up to the Trofeo, but considering that's going to be forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 more, I mean, yes, it may be worth it, but this is kind of the sweet spot. It's not the base model, it's the Modena and it's not the Trofeo. So this is right in the middle. It gives you borderline almost too much speed on uh, road conditions here. Like this thing is that fast. So I couldn't imagine uh, what the Trofeo would do on just regular roads like this. And also right in the center of this drive mode selector here, you have a suspension button. So if you wanna go over to sport mode, but you still wanna have the most luxurious ride quality in a soft suspension setup, you can simply click the little suspension button so you get everything in its sportiest mode, but a soft drive, just like the Alfa Romeo. I love how these kind of share features. Uh, this one is just gonna be the more top level trim if you're a classy person that wants that exotic taste. And I really wouldn't compare this to like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini in any way whatsoever. I think this is just more of a cruiser than that. It's not trying to be as flashy or uh, garner as much attention or have as rough as a ride. It's just trying to be luxurious. It's in its own sort of class. There's a lot less competitors to this car than there would be for something like a Lamborghini or Ferrari. So all in all, guys, I am very impressed with the sound, the acceleration, but honestly, the luxury that this thing provides. And if you're interested in the 2023 Maserati GT Modena, link is in the description to buy this thing and check out the state line Maserati Alfa Romeo awesome inventory using the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.